The following is a DW Old Testament production. The book of Exodus opens after an interlude of some 400 years. At this point on the timeline, Egypt was vastly different. The Hyksos had long been driven out and native rule had returned to power. At some point, the Hebrews had become enslaved by the Egyptians who were forcing them to build their temples and farm their land. So they made the people of Israel serve with rigor and made their lives bitter with hard service and mortar and brick and in all kinds of work in the field. Exodus chapter 1, 13, 14. The Pharaoh responsible for the bondage of Israel is a highly debated topic. Most look to Ramses II, but Pharaoh Tuthmosis II fits the description in a much better way. His mummy is the only one discovered with cysts or boils, indicating evidence of suffering from a plague. His reign also began successfully but abruptly declined in the end. The Pharaoh of the Exodus remains unconfirmed. With Moses begins the Old Testament's most dramatic story, the most critical events of the Jewish religion, the Passover and the Exodus from Egypt. The Pharaoh's refusal to release the Hebrews and the succession of plagues which God sends down in reprisal results in the final plague killing all the firstborn children in Egypt, but miraculously passing over those of the Hebrews. This would later become celebrated as the Passover feast. With this, the Bible says, the terrified Pharaoh summoned Moses and his brother Aaron and told them, Rise up, go forth from among my people, take your flocks and your herds, as you have said, and be gone. Exodus 12, 32. Organizing perhaps 3,000 to 5,000 people, Moses set out across the Red Sea, escaping the charioteers that the Pharaoh had sent in a last-minute change of heart. He then turned south toward the region of Mount Sinai to avoid the Egyptian fortresses in the northern part of the peninsula. It is here that Moses went up on a mountain to receive the law and make a covenant binding Israel forever to the God of the fathers. With the Exodus, the real history of Israel as a nation began. Egypt was behind them, and the promised land lay ahead. Most importantly, God had shown the Hebrews that his power was equal to the ancient pledge he had made to Abraham. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. Genesis 12, 2. We begin our first detailed biography in the next episode on Abraham. Thank you for joining us.